Hey guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I uploaded something to my YouTube channel and I really apologize for that. Uh, going forward, I'll, I'll upload, I'm trying, I'll, be, I'll try to upload at least a single video every week. And uh, yeah, so once again, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> um, uh, I'm just, I'm creating this video to uh, talk about uh, Ansible. Uh, I'll be telling you how uh, you can connect to your remote machines uh, using Ansible. Uh, so, so before we uh, jump to uh, to telling you how to connect to the remote machines, uh, just a small introduction about what your Ansible is, what it does. Now, Ansible is your configuration management tool. So, what it does is it helps you to maintain the configuration of the product performance by keeping a record and updating detailed information which describes an enterprise hardware and software. Now, to give you an example, now let's say um, uh, if you want to install uh, a version of your WebLogic or WebSphere uh, server on all of your machines that is present in your enterprise, it is not feasible for you to manually go and update each and every machine. Now, uh, let's say for example you want to install some application at an enterprise level. Now, at an enterprise level you would have thousands of machines and going to each and every machine manually and then updating and installing on each machine is not a very feasible task. Now, you can install this WebLogic or WebSphere in one go on all the machines with your Ansible, which is your configuration management tool. Now, under configuration management tool, you have multiple tools. One of them is your Ansible. You also have Chef, Puppet, and SaltStack. You also have other tools, but these are your uh, famous tools that are available in the market. Now, with the Ansible playbooks, you'll have some known as inventory. Now, in this inventory is where you'll be specifying all your IP addresses of your remote machines that you want to connect to. Now, all you have to do with your Ansible is list out the IP addresses of your nodes or your remote machines in the inventory and write a playbook. Now, playbook is nothing but it's a, it's a set of instructions uh, that will get executed when you, when you run them on the remote machines. So you can write a playbook to install the WebLogic or WebSphere, run the playbook from your control machine and it will be installed on all the nodes. Now depending on the instruction, let's say for example you want to install HTTPD or PHP or Git repository or Docker, you will be specifying those instructions in your playbook and when you run that particular playbook from your control machine, it will be executed on all the remote machines uh, that are present in your inventory file. Now, Ansible is an IT automation tool. It can configure system, deploy software, and orchestrate more advanced IT tasks such as continuous deployments or zero downtime rolling updates. Ansible is a very simple IT automation engine that automates provisioning, configuration, application deployment, intra service orchestration, and many other IT needs. Now, the, the main goal of your Ansible is Simplicity and ease of use. So like I said, using your Ansible is very is simple. Uh, the the playbooks are very very easy to write. So it uses your open SSH to uh, to connect to your remote machines to to run your playbooks on the remote machines. Now I will be discussing about the uh, playbook on a, on a, in a, in a different video. For now, in this particular video, I'm only going to cover about how you can connect to your remote machines okay so so i'll start with that now here uh, I, i'm running uh, three virtual machines in my aws so i have three machines over here out of this i have one which is going to be my control machine and the other two machines are going to be my remote machines okay now uh, your ansible is completely agentless now what that's, that means is you, you need to install the Ansible only on the master machine or the control machine uh, from where you want to control the uh, remote machines. So I'm going to use this as my control machine and I'm going to install my Ansible over here. So I'll, I don't have Ansible installed on this machine yet. So just give me one minute. I'm unable to access my session, so okay, it has reset. So just reconnect again to my remote machine. 
so here i am in my uh, virtual machine and i'm going to use this as my control machine now you can check if you have ansible in your system or not by running this particular command if you get this this means you don't have ansible within your machine now we'll install ansible so yum install ansible now now linux depending on the virtual machine you're running sorry amazon aws the the uh, linux machine you're running it will give you the set of instructions i need to run on this particular linux machine i'll need to run this particular command to x to and install ansible on my machine so I'll just pass this and hit enter so this should install ansible within this particular machine so this is installing it will take a couple of minutes it's already done so now we'll check for the version so my ansible version is uh, so i'm running ansible version 2.4.6.0 and this is a python application so you need to have python without a python you cannot uh, work with your ansible okay so now we have uh, ansible now ansible to work with your ansible you'll need to go to this particular location which is your slash etc slash ansible so this is the location so if you if you see my present working directory i'm into my slash etc slash ansible now whenever you want to work with your ansible you will need to be in this particular directory only then you can work now in this particular folder uh, directory i'll have my ansible.config file which is the configuration for my ansible which controls the behavior of my ansible and my host file and my roles now i'm not going to cover about roles I'm only uh, going to cover about the host and how to connect to your remote machine. So now this host is the file where you'll be specifying all your IP addresses that you want to connect to. Now here you have some uh, examples uh, that shows you how you can uh, write your IP addresses. So here, now we will try to um, uh, provide our uh, IP addresses that we want to connect to. So these two machines are going to be my remote machines so here i'm going to edit this and i'm going to place this under a group and i'm going to call this as my web servers and that's one ip address and the other machine is this ip address so i have my both the machines uh, the ip address of both the machines i have provided here save this particular file and come out now um uh, in this particular video, I'll be I'll be showing you how you can connect your machines using password. Uh, I'll be I'll be recording one more video where I'll be showing you how you can use key pairs to connect to your remote machines. So this in with in this video, I'll be concentrating on how to connect to your uh, remote machines using a password. Now, after you have specified this host, uh, uh, your IP address is in a host file. You'll need to connect to your other two machines and you'll need to enable password authentication okay so i'll just connect to my other machines so that's one machine so i'll become a super user and then go to this uh, slash etc slash ssh and in this you would have this sshd underscore config file now this is where you will need to modify certain settings to enable password based authentication so open this in your uh, notepad so sshd underscore config open this so you'll have all these uh, settings so here you'll have this uh, permit root login so uh, uncomment this so i'm allowing uh, root login to my machines and then here you'll have this uh, password authentication set to yes so you'll need to enable this option which is password authentication set to s this means you're you're telling that you 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 want to you can connect to this machine using a password i'll say this particular file i'll generate a password which is passwt so passwd is what you use to generate password so give a password re-enter the password and then restart the sshd service so that it reflects your changes okay now this is done i'll do the same thing on my other remote machine 
So here, this is my remote machine. So here, I'm going to exit this and exit this. So SSH ec2 hyphen user at this IP address and my key pair. So I'm into my Linux machine. So here, again, do the same thing. Go to slash etc slash SSH and nano ssh t underscore config and in this file again the same thing permit root login and enable password based authentication so password based authentication disable this save the file and set, set your password let's clear the screen so set the password i'm giving my password confirming the password and then service sshd restart so that it takes your changes now my password is done now i'll go back to my control machine this is my control machine so sure you can now here in my host files i have specified my ip addresses so here i have my ip addresses now to connect to this particular machine i mean before connecting you can check whether you are uh, you are able to get a successful ping from your uh, remote machines or not now for that you can run this command which is ansible all hyphen m ping okay now this what it is basically you are doing is the uh, this uh, command is it will basically go to your host file and get it gathers all the ip addresses and it will try to ping that particular ip addresses so we'll hit enter now it will ask you for a confirmation give s now here it says unreachable for this particular machine uh, and uh, since it has failed here it is not even going to my second ip address to check now this one it says permission denied the reason is that we need to tell ansible that okay we have set a password authentication on my remote machines and please ask me for a password before uh, you try to connect to my remote machines or you try to ping my remote machines so what we'll do is We'll run the same command, but here we'll add a, a argument which is ask for pass. So hyphen hyphen ask hyphen pass. You'll need to pass this argument. So you're telling Ansible that please ask for a password when you're running this particular command on the remote machines. So hit enter. It will prompt you for the password. Now sure you'll need to give the password that you have created for your remote machines. Whatever the password you generated over here, the same password need to specify over here so i'll give my password and hit enter now you see now this machine it was successful but on the other machine it has failed so i need to see why uh ssh pass does not so please and this was different so uh, Okay, now we'll again do the same thing. So now you can see it says success and success. That means now I'm able to connect to my remote machines. This is how uh, you can connect your remote machines using password based authentication. Now, uh, here this error was basically it was not it, it did not add my fingerprint. Now here in the uh, in the so here what it did was it added my fingerprint only for uh, one machine it did not add for the other machine so first it added the finger fingerprint for only this particular machine here i did not have the uh, fingerprint so uh, again so here i've just added over here so i did a yes that means i'm telling that please add the fingerprint and then i ran the same command again and here you can see it says success so for ping i've successfully got a pong for this remote machine and similarly for this remote machine i've got a successful pong for a ping so this is how you connect your remote machines using a password with authentication uh in the so so that is all i have for this uh video in the next video i'll show you how you can uh, connect to your uh, remote machines by using a key pair instead of using a password based authentication okay so i hope uh, you you've learned something and uh, uh, please like share and subscribe the video